Jake Dingle is the CEO of Carbon Revolution. In the following clip, he explains how they're going to market these wheels and talks about where they think they can take this company in the long term. This is so cool looking at these carbon fiber wheels. I'm just so curious, what kind of a reaction are you getting from the automotive industry? Well, it's been fantastic actually, John. Um, for the last three years, we've been working closely with OEMs. So really our focus has been to understand the reaction and, and the requirements of the OEMs, particularly in Europe, but uh, also here in North America. Um, and more recently, as you're aware, we've launched the product into the aftermarket through the SEMA show last week. And uh, the, the reaction there was a mixture of astonishment and, and excitement. I think uh, it would be fair to say the, the response has exceeded my expectations. So you see interest on both the aftermarket and the original equipment side? Absolutely. So for, for original equipment, the interest is twofold. One is as a marketing advantage and something that can be used in a, in a premium um, element of the portfolio. And the second element for OEMs is efficiency. So there is a huge drive to light weighting at the moment due to uh, emission uh, reduction requirements. And so from the long term perspective, that's really where the interest is for the broader portfolio. Um, in, the, in the aftermarket, obviously, this is a performance technology and it's seen uh, as something that can make people's great cars even better. Uh, so with uh, the wheels just being launched, you're clearly a startup company. Where do you hope to take Carbon Revolution? Well, we have uh, fairly big aspirations. We're, we're already going to be producing at a rate of around 6,000 parts a year through next year, and we'll expand that probably uh, fourfold fairly rapidly after that towards the end of next year. The, the medium term goal is to be producing around about a two, 250,000 of these a year as a mixture of relatively small OEM programs and aftermarket uh, business globally. Uh, long term, we would hope that this is a mainstream technology, so a replacement technology for aluminium. Certainly our manufacturing process and the automation that, that we're installing with the process is going to support that. So we see this as being something we can take to the masses with, with a, an increasingly competitive cost base. And before beyond that, um, we're also looking at aircraft applications and trucking applications. So uh, we're not stopping just at the automotive industry. Anything beyond wheels? You've got to have some really interesting technology to make this possible. Yeah, look, there's a lot of uh, technology that's going to be spinning out of the way that we're producing these because it is a proprietary process. Um, we are developing a lot of things in order to do it or have done so already. Um, a lot of IP being created as a, as a result of that. Um, beyond wheels, I think our focus is really in the wheel market at the moment and different applications of wheels, that's the thing that we've managed to do successfully that, that others don't appear to have, have been able to do. So there's a lot of manufacturers of composite components and certainly it would be great to spin some of our knowledge out into those applications. But for us really it's, it's the wheel market, um, we've got a hell of a lot of, uh, of that ahead of us before we start having to worry about other things other than wheels. Well Jake, thanks so much for coming in and bringing us up to speed with where you're going with Carbon Revolution. Very interesting to hear him say they want this to become the replacement for aluminum wheels. And when he says they want to take it to the masses, he means they'll be able to make millions of these carbon wheels a year.